Oh, I love the intimidation yeah, from what both. Say? Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go, baby. Right. Ross Levine, the champion black pants. Hugo de Castaneda in the white pants. And straight out to it. Five three-minute rounds if they need them. Josh Palmer, Bass Root, and Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Pit side here for you tonight in Miami. Nice check from Ross. Yeah, that was a solid. He uh, smiled at the end of that. He knew that one stung. Yep. Get that chin out. Constantly cutting him off. Yeah, champion with the center of the pit at the moment. A lot of feints, a lot of fast twitch. Oh, yeah. At this level, every little check. movement that you make could be you know, taken advantage of. So yeah. these guys are definitely on par. You see Levine moving to Southpaw here. He said that's one of the things that they've worked on these last 29 weeks is actually getting a really good, complete set of techniques from Southpaw. Bang Muay Thai, that's what he said. Flipped it around. Still cagey here, trying to figure out the timing. The Castaneda missing early. Oh, a good right hand though. Yeah. Made the champion think. Uh, we know that he can knock people out. Well, that's it. I hand. mean, the, <laughs> you can't play games with someone with that much power. You've got to be a little <laughs> bit wary. Guys like that, you know, because they landed over and over again, they know how to land it. They just got five rounds to do it. So you cannot be off guard for a freaking second here. Again, Le Levine's, you know, he can grind, he can wear fighters down. He said it's the constant pressure and yes. making them think that, that does it. And we're, we're starting to see that already. Was, what it is, he doesn't allow his opponent to back off and rest. He's, he's always a presence in front of them, which keeps them on guard, and that's exhausting. Keeps them fainting, keeps them reacting to little things here and there. Nice right hand from can't, can't breathe De nice and freely because he's constantly under pressure. Right. You know, it's beautiful. A little poke, a little poke. Switching to Southpaw again. Good shots from the Castaneda, though. Yeah, yeah. And he's calling uh, Levine on, but he's getting backed up here. And we know Levine is deadly if he can force oh. the opponent against the, the pit that wall. Fast. That was a fast kick. Very close. You know, the, the, short, the slightly extended amount of time it takes for someone to get up off the pit wall, Levine knows he can exploit that with the big power techniques. The calmness of Ross yes, it's a... is, is very interesting. I love it. Yeah, I mean, this is the type of fight where, you know, five rounds, they can afford to be a bit patient at the start. Yes. You know, Levine knows he wants to go to championship rounds. And that is the first one in the books. Let's take a look at some of the replays here, and that was a good shot from De Castaneda. Yeah, De Castaneda, he also said in the training, he, he worked on his emotions. And because he knows, of course, it's five rounds, and normally he throws out a lot of power. We were talking about it in the opening of the fight. So, uh, and he's showing it. Yes. He's, uh, he's holding back, being relaxed, waiting, but trying to find a hole in uh, Levine's game, right? It's, uh, <laughs> and then it's hard. Every movement that Ross makes so, is so calculative, you know what I'm saying? That flinches, getting his opponent to lean in with the jab and then and then countering back with that lead leg round kick to the yeah, body. Yeah, it's slow. Interestingly, neither one of them, taking, slower the, every round. Neither one of them taking the stool here in the corner. They're both playing the gamesmanship. Levine's like, I'm not touching gloves. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, once is, once is enough, I think, in the champion's mind. Yeah. He's here to work. Well, he just saw the, the, the video, and he goes, I don't like him. He said, so he goes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's not like each other. The good thing is, after this is saddled, it's saddled. Yep. That's always in fighting. Unless we go end up one-on-one -on -one and have to run it back for a third. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yep. Again, twitches and feints from Levine. Big, fast wheel kick from the Spaniard. Uh, expect something like that back. Most of uh, monkey see, monkey do, right? Bait it out. 
Yes. Yep. Good jab. Oh, that was a big right hand. Okay, he slipped it, but you gotta watch out for that power. Oh, yeah. If you notice that um, um, De Castaneda is not looping that right hand anymore, mm -hmm. it's going straight down the pipe. Yeah, work on it. Harder to counter, harder to counter. And that was also a jab to the body with a hook to the top. Right. He starts throwing combinations together. And that together with his incredible heart makes him a dangerous fighter. How do you feel about the, the volume of offense from the champion so far? Oh, I love it, man. I love it. Every time he takes a step in, he, uh, Ross is throwing that kick to the body. But the countering ability, I think, is where he's going to be more successful because I know De Castaneda has got the longer reach. You got to hit him before he brings his hands back. So again, De Castaneda having to be on the back foot a little bit, but that's good work to push the champ back. The fainting, the little movements. Body shot. As he was leaning back. Yep. He sees those things. Nice job there by Castaneda. That jab was nice. About a minute left here in this second round. Nice knee. Good body kick on the end. Look at him. He's cutting off the pit. Yes. I love that. That's what I love about it. He goes, to, goes the other way, Ross switches sides and says, okay, I can move this way too. Yeah. He's putting the hands out left and right, the distractions, the little fans. Ooh, nice, beautiful angle change. On a relaxed gap as well. Big ground and pound from Levine. A little half a step angle change set him up perfectly for that low path kick. Yeah, very, very clean indeed. Final 10 seconds here. That's going to do it for this one. <laughs> see if we can yeah, listen like into the corners again. here. Those desperation things are coming out now, right? Slow down your breathing for a second. That calf kick is there too, right? He's a come in. Jake, what are you seeing? Yeah. So we got a little response. You touch, you pull, he went big. That's where you're gonna find that big kick. You want to touch and pull? Okay, the kick is gonna get in and out of the. So forward, interestingly, the corner the of Ross Levine saying to him, the desperation things are starting yeah. to come out. Do you feel the that's the case side. for uh, Igor de Castaneda? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I agree with that. I quite don't know. Yet. Yep. Nope. Not okay. yet. Not yet. He's going to have to do a little bit more to bring that out of him. But he's keeping his calm. He's, he's looking much better than the first time they fought. That's yeah. for sure. So straight into the third round here. Ooh, good counter jab by Ross Levine. Yeah, Levine working that jab. Switching to southpaw here. Hands dropping. Ooh, the movement's a little different from Ross this round. He's on his toes a little more. Yes, like he said, decided to start fighting now, almost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's always an interesting tactic, because you, you take too long to settle into the fight, Ooh. and you give up a couple of rounds early by the small margins. You, you're giving yourself a, a bit of a deficit, but it's yes. very, very close through the first six minutes. That was a greatly timed left hand, lunging yeah. left hand by Ross Levine. Oh, look at that. Just looking to pull the guard away. Control the whole time. I feel like Ross is trying to draw out that right hand to counter. Oh, that, oh. <laughs> oh. And he thinks he's taking, I mean, he said to us, you know, he's very aware he took his will, which I thought was an interesting uh, bit of gamesmanship from Ross. Oh, that low cat kick. Was, Woo. That makes me hurt. <laughs> oh, and he's got him backed up. Oh, oh big right good. to the body. Oh, what is that? Stop, 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 Pushing stop, stop. the head back to the side and go with the body shot. Coaches are saying pressure, pressure, pressure. Well, that's it. You know, we, we spoke at length with him about putting someone back on the wall and what an opportunity it was. Oh, oh, he has a big left. And that has What's ended up? this oh, one. Oh, Ross geez. Levine remains wow. the karate combat middleweight champion. Gee, the wow. Way, the way he knew it. He felt Bro, it. That was
was the fastest counter. It was like he knew exactly Andre, what he was doing. That was last time in the uppercut too. It was so fast. It's like you said, it was almost like he suddenly decided to stop fighting. Yeah. <laughs> That's literally how it came out, right? He says, okay, this is worth it to get it over with. And Igor de Castaneda Oi. is still stretched out against the wall here. He's going to get up slowly. Oh, man. Quick, yeah. he, oh, nice. So <laughs> Unbelievable. That was good, dude. Unbelievable. <laughs> Getting some words wow. from the champion, Ross Levine. I mean, look, I'm sure Layla will ask him about it. That's 29 weeks of pent-up energy <laughs> yeah, coming yeah, out yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Everything was so calculative during, leading up to this point right now. He knew he could take it away in this round. You could tell it by the way yeah. he moved, the way he came out. Yep. Had a little more pep in it his was, step. It was just more decisive, more, yeah. you know, more vicious. First two rounds, he just kind of felt him. It felt him. Felt him. Just felt him out a little bit. You know, that's all he needed to calculate and, and to kind of, you know, figure out what he needed to do, calculated it up, and executed. You said uh, it when he came out. He says, we've been completely different. Yes. You know, it's, it's like, okay. Do it. Scary reflexes. Woo. So Ross Levine puts an exclamation point. Woo. On his second bout with Igor de Castaneda. Looking forward to seeing the replays. Oh, yeah, Let's have yeah. a look here. Boom, Good liver shot. Good liver shot. Oh. That was beautiful. Boom. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he knew. He, he just walked it out. Boom. Boom. Stiff leg so right across the chin. Oh, yeah. Right across the chin. <laughs> it goes whatever. He made sure that he was not getting up from that one. Yeah, walk off, knockout as you like it. Clean, clean left hook. Look at that. As the hands drop to come in, he just he beat him to the punch. Oh, he did. What a reaction. He did. What I love is the IQ that Ross has. Not only that, but the experience this guy has had in the martial arts. Have you ever sparred one of those guys? It's almost like they know what you're going to do before you do oh, it. Oh, it's the worst. Yeah. Perfect right there. That's it. He read him like a book. Yep. Let's go ahead and get the champion's hand raised one more time. Our winner by knockout out of the red corner, Ross Turbo Levine. Thanks for watching. I'm Layla, and if you liked what you just saw, make sure you subscribe.